Hi guys, today is a make or break video. You're either gonna hate me or love me after this because I am doing a what's in my purse video and I call it the honest what's in my purse because I literally did not clean out my purse for this video or any time in the recent past. So it's gonna be full of, and I hate to curse on my channel because I try not to curse to make everybody happy, but it's full of shit. Basically, it's full of garbage and lip products. So let's just go ahead and get into it. This is my purse here, it's from Forever 21. Nothing snazzy, but I love it as like an everyday purse. Let me try and get it good. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing, okay, that just fell out was an eyeglasses cleaner. This is my wallet here, it's from Topshop. I got it in Montreal when I went to see Beyonce a while ago. And I really like it, but it is kind of coming to the end of its rope, it's full of stuff. That is my wallet. I'm gonna try and not make this too long. This is an eyeglasses holder, or I guess I use it for my sunglasses from Forever 21. Then, first lip product, Maybelline Vivid Rose. I love this one. My friend Steph gave it to me a while back for my birthday. And it's such a pretty, I wouldn't even, it's not really that rosy of a shade. It's kind of like a corally pink, but I love those Maybelline Vivid lipsticks. Um, garbage, paper towel, receipt empty excel mints which is this is actually kind of like it's beneficial for me because i get to have a video for you i get to chat with you guys and i get to clean out my purse at the same time which is something like i never do dirty spoon i also use my purse as a lunch box essentially when i go to work so there's probably like a whole bunch of ziploc bags in here like are these videos interesting to you people seem to love what's in my purse videos and i like watching them but like now that i'm actually going through my own purse feels weird um this is the victoria's secret ultimate hand cream and tempting fig something about this smells like high school to me i don't know what it is i like it but uh, i picked it up during their semi-annual sale it was like three dollars and i love to have a, a hand cream in my purse because i pee a lot at work because i drink a lot of water and then my hands get really dry uh fork Empty Ziploc bag that had saltine crackers in it, looks like. I went and saw, oh yeah, I went and saw Magic Mike XXL not long ago with my girl making up Ashley. It was a movie about male strippers going to a stripper convention, so what do you expect? Dancing was amazing though, like their bodies did things I didn't even know bodies could do. Uh, and it was hilarious. All the women in the theater were like, Channing Tatum would be like, I'm going to grab a bag of popcorn. They'd be like, he can butter my popcorn. Like it was just vile. It was amazing. Like it was hilarious. Some more receipts, groceries, Walmart, Lawton's, more lip products. It's kind of like a lip swatch video, you know? Um, the Oh, this is really nice, actually. It's the Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss, gloss in the shade Ra Ravish Raspberry. And I don't hear many people talk about this, but it's a great formula. It's kind of jelly and not sticky, but lasts really long. And Milani's like pretty nicely priced, so I love that. This is a, a purse staple for me. It's the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. Um, it, it's more pink than I thought it was going to be. I ordered it online, I think. And it's a little bit like more of a baby bright pink than I thought, but it smells like custard cone, kind of twirly ice cream in an ice cream cone, and I'm obsessed. Then the NYX Sop Soft Matte Lip Cream in Antwerp. This is like um, kind of like a corally pink color. These are nice. They're like a nice mousse texture. This is the e.l.f. Lip Lock Pencil. So this is one of those kind of lip primers or you can kind of put it around the edge of your lips so it doesn't feather. And I never use it. And I think I might have taken it to work one day and used it and was going to try and like keep up with it and see if it actually made a difference to my lipstick. But I obviously didn't. Then I have a package of mint tea. I like taking tea to work so that if I get hungry, but I'm like, Samantha, you shouldn't eat, then I'll drink some tea. Uh, this is a really cute little midi ring that says love on it. I've had it forever from Forever 21. I can't believe I haven't lost it. Um, that's that. Then the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. I've talked about this. A oh, no. <sighs> what do you expect? It was almost broken. And then I put it in my purse. Oh, okay. Well, luckily I've got a backup and another one on the way um, because whenever I go to the States or have a friend that goes to the States, I make them buy it for me. Um, but that's really sad. It is a great shine control powder though. It's good for touch-ups too. Then this is the e.l.f. Hyper Shine Gloss in Joy. This has like a lot of gold in it and it's a little bit different for me. I normally don't purchase anything with any kind of like metallic sheen in it, but it looks beautiful over nude, um, 
over nude lipsticks. I don't know if you can see it there, um, but it's got like a bit of a gold tinge to it and it's really, really nice and it costs a dollar. So um, I had to go to the vet recently and I took them to try and make her feel a little bit more comfortable. Of course, every time I go to the vet, it's a million dollars. Um, I have to schedule a surgery for her now. She has a like a little bump over her tooth, so they're gonna biopsy it, and then her tooth is cracked apparently. So they're taking that tooth out, and it's gonna cost a thousand dollars. So that's fabulous, and it's just so scary, like thinking about her, like her health and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, it's trying to stay positive. Um, the next thing is something I got in my swap with Leslie X. I don't think that's up yet, but it should be up soon. Um, this is from Bourgeois. It's the Rouge Edition Velvet Matte Finish in Nudist. This is a great nude, uh, nude shade. It's kind of more, like, it's like a pinky nude. Um, so that's it right there. And I really do like these. I think you can get them at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. I'm pretty sure. And then this is something else from the swap we did. It is the MUA uh, Lux London in Criminal. It's a beautiful liquid lipstick. It's super bright and super pink. And I was wearing this actually, that's it there. I was wearing this in my SE Bikini Sotini dupe video. So I really, really like that. I've got a couple of those. Really nice formula and they're pretty cheap if you're in the UK. Then here, such a random stuff. I went and I have a Michael Kors watch and it was too big for me. So I got some links taken out of it. So those are the links. Tampons, as it is that time of the month, but it doesn't matter. They're always in there anyways. Um, hand sanitizer, some gum. Uh, business card for personal trainer. All right, can't afford it. Um, nor do I like going to the gym. Um, Lady Danger, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time it's a beautiful orangey red look at all the frigging lipsticks i have in my purse <laughs> so that's that one there then this is a great nude from kate uh rimmel it's in the shade 08 and this one is like i keep meaning to do like a nude lipsticks video but this one is a great nude from the drugstore that's it there it's so easy to just throw on and you don't really need a lip liner with it and it's cheap then oh my god we're getting to the bottom it hasn't been too garbage filled yet so two empty and one full Werther's Originals. I know these are for people who are like 80 years old, but this is the caramel apple one. And I love the caramel apple lollipops and lollipops. I mean, I'm not going to walk around eating a lollipop. It's kind of weird, I feel like. And uh, this is just super nice little like sweet treat that I like to keep in my purse while I'm at work. If I get hungry, I'm one of those people that like needs to have snacks in their purse because I'm terrified of being hungry. Okay, so my camera cut out, but I swatched the last four lippies that were in my purse and that Full Werther's Originals is now empty. Um, the lipstick, liquid lipstick I have here is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Lolita. I'm not sure. I know she released a few different formulas of it, but that's one of them. Then this is Wet n Wild Just Peachy. I really, really like that. I wore that the other day and it's really bright and almost neon, but still wearable and like super nude. Then this is an Essence lip liner in Soft Berry and then Makeup Forever lip liner in, what is this? 14 C a nice kind of rosy color. So that was all the lippies that I had in my purse. Oh God. No. There's one more Mac Ruby Woo. A classic. And this is just like a super, super red. I think that's it for lippies. Okay. Then I have a little tiny sample of Marc Jacobs Lola. I love this perfume. Just a little tiny roller ball that came with the set I have. Then mostly just garbage. It seems like some change. Oh my god, it doesn't end. Uh, bobby pins. Okay, two more lip products. <laughs> Sorry. The Smith's Rosebud Salve. Love this. Great for dry lips. And then the Sugar Berry Fresh. Um, this little lip balm here from Sugar. It has like a little bit of a tint to it. Okay. <sighs> That's everything. I hope you don't hate me because there's so much garbage and like saltines and worthers. Like how old am I? Anyways, that's everything that was in my purse. If I can find the name to it, if you do like it, I will link it down below, but I did get it in January and forever 21, nothing really sticks around there. So it's probably gone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.